Hi, my name is Michael Boxwell. I'm the CEO and CTO of EDC Powertech. We are a manufacturer and designer of ultra rapid EV charging hubs. And I wanted to give you a quick uh, show of what we've got going on in our development labs at the moment on our six minute EV project. Now, if you've not heard about six minute EV, it's our project for uh, creating a charging system and uh, a battery system that can charge completely from flat to full in six minutes. We have a test vehicle here fitted with our battery pack that we've designed that can take the currents and the power required to, uh, to, to give a full charge in six minutes. And behind me as well, our ultra rapid charging system that can deliver that amount of power. Now, it's a very brief demonstration because, hey, guess what? It takes six minutes. Uh, so let's give you a quick walk around and then take it from there. So the vehicle we're using is an Exxon Mega multi-truck. It's a French electric vehicle. Uh, it's been around for a number of years now. Uh, it's perfect for inner city deliveries and so on and so forth. From our perspective, it's great because there's plenty of space in the back, being a truck, for putting in batteries, which is great for our engineering teams, so we can get batteries in and out, test things, change things around, and get things working the way we want them to. What we also have here is our uh, charging units. Now, as you can see, it's very, very small. Uh, this particular one is mounted on a, uh, on a pole onto the ground, uh, but we can also have it uh, wall mounted and uh, it's about 22 centimetres thick. The cable retracts inside the charging unit, so uh, we, we can retract about three metres of cable, so it's always nice and neat, uh, and, uh, and so on and so forth. So what we're gonna do is start with the charge running, and let's see what goes on. So, in the background you can see the charger switching from, uh, from free to connect, and it's charging up straight away. So, Already it's at 3% and that will go up very, very quickly now, all the way up to, a, to 100%. So what we'll do is I'll talk you through the technology that we're using. So the battery system is uh, down here in the back of the truck. So it's a, uh, it's a 24 cell system. So uh, you know, very basic, but that's fine because what we're trying to do at the moment is prove the technology and then we can scale it later on. So you know, we're starting small with a very basic system and then we'll grow it and we, uh, as it gets better and we, we learn more about the technology. The cells themselves, we're not really talking too much about the technology behind the cells. There's, there's some secret stuff in there, of course, but actually, ultimately, it's irrelevant because lots and lots of different manufacturers of cells are working on ultra rapid charging cells. Uh, so we'll start seeing those available in the next year to 18 months uh, at cell level. What's really interesting though is how we package those cells together to make a pack that can then take the current required to charge up in six minutes. Let's put that into some, some uh, perspective. If you've got something like a Nissan Leaf, then you're charging up at, on a rapid charger at around 100, 110 amps. If you've got yourself a Tesla, you're probably charging at around 200 amps. Well, this system is running at 400 amps as it currently stands, so it's double straight away. Now, we can then ramp that up, and we've done some testing at 500 amps and even up to 1,000 amps. Now, that takes a lot of, of, of uh, interesting engineering solutions to actually package that properly within a vehicle, uh, and that's where we've been focusing some of our time. But also, and more importantly, it's on the charging system as well, the charging hardware, which is where our real expertise is, really does, uh, you know, uh, there's an awful lot of work that we've had to do to make that work reliably, safely and effectively. Now we've cracked those problems and we can start scaling that up now and that's great because it means that when other manufacturers start having vehicles that can charge from flat to full in six minutes, we're going to have the, the charging technology that can actually take that and do something with it. Now, how likely is that? Well, Nissan are already sort of talking about uh, having the batteries in, a, in, in a vehicles that can charge to 80% uh, in six minutes. Toyota are known to be working on this technology. Uh, Tesla, no doubt, are working away on, on it as well. So it's going to be an absolute uh, requirement. There's no doubt about that. So where are we on the charge? We're at 48%. It's not, not, that's not bad at all. We've been charging for just, uh, just over two and a half minutes, and we're, we're now, hey, it's at 51%. That state of charge figure goes up really, really quickly when you're charging in, in six minutes. Every three, three and a half seconds or so, we're going up one percentage point. So you can see, you don't have to plug in for very long in order to get a, a very quick charge. Now the batteries themselves, of course, with the amount of current we're talking about, they get hot. There's no doubt about that. They do warm up. Uh, we're seeing a, a, a 15 to 16 degree uh, temperature increase from ambient uh, 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 with, with our current tests. Now that's fine, 
uh, we aren't actually using any active cooling at this stage. It does mean that for a, a, a live environment, especially if you're in a hot country, we are going to need to look at, at, at an active cooling system in there. But we're quite impressed, actually, that, that we can charge up as quickly as we can with such low uh, increases in, in, in temperature. And the, benefit, the reason for that is that these batteries and the cells have got very, very low internal resistance. You know, resistance... You know, the, the greater the resistance, the greater the heat build-up, and so on and so forth. So, by getting these these batteries right down, that makes a huge, huge difference to how quickly you can charge them, and that's the key for these ultra rapid charging batteries that we're going to see a lot more of in the next, you know, one, two, three years. Our thoughts in terms of where we're going to see six-minute charging first. It's going to be in industrial applications, it's going to be in niche applications. Consider an ambulance, for instance. You, you don't do a huge long distance to pick somebody up to take them to the hospital. It's a short journey, but you'll be doing lots and lots of those, and you'll be doing it 24-7. So you need to be able to quickly charge up after you've dropped a patient off. You know, the ambulance goes back to get restocked and, of course, cleaned, um, you know, because it's particularly with COVID around. And during that time, you've got plenty of time to recharge in that six minutes, ten minutes or so, and then you're off uh, again, and you can do that 24-7. Ambulance is the same, and... Uh, sorry, ambulance is... Fire brigade, of course, will be the same. You don't want to be hanging around charging your truck when there's a fire going on. So niche applications first, but then going to the mainstream, probably five to ten years' time, we'll see this as on every executive car. Uh, you know, if you're charging up, you've got the opportunity to charge up in just six minutes. And that's as quick as, as putting petrol or, or diesel into your, uh, your, your normal car. Where are we on charge? Well, we're now at 95%. So in just a few minutes that we've been talking... We've gone from zero charge up to 95%, and it will be finishing now in just the last, last few seconds. Let's just watch it go through. And that's it, 100%. The charger sh uh, shuts down. That's it, the vehicle's ready to go. Not bad, eh?